Uh, Alright, um, I made a video last night, but I can't get it to go up, and I don't know why, so I'm going to try and reshoot it and maybe make it shorter and see if that'll work. So, maybe later on if I can upload the first video, I will, but um, we won 2017. You know, I like beating division rivals. I like getting it done at home because I think our home crowd deserves to watch us win. Um... I, I, I'm really not high on this win or anything like that. I really wasn't Im too impressed with what I saw out there. But uh, at this point, I'll take it. I mean, with the way this season has gone, I'll take any wins we can. And I'll definitely take winning games in the division. I'll definitely take ending the Niners' playoff hopes because uh, they're done now. I mean, they would need a miracle, and it's, it's not going to happen. And um, we gutted it out, so... About the game specifically, offensively, I was really frustrated most of the day. Um, really couldn't move the ball. I think we ended up having around 300 total yards of offense, which pretty middle of the road, if that. Not really thrilled with the way that happened. Never was able to make any pl big plays in the passing game. Less than 200 yards passing for Matt. He had a good game. I mean, he only missed one or two throws all day. He played fine, but... A lot of short stuff, nothing really big for most of the game. Um, didn't turn it over except for the fumble, which I don't really know if you can put that on him, but um, you know you can make whatever conclusions you want to concerning that. And I, today, I guess that's all we needed because a lot of this game was frustrating the way we had a hard time moving the ball. Um, offensive line was bad, bad in run blocking, and we gave up five sacks. Some of those were on Matt, but for the most part, the offensive line and the blocking really was not getting it done, and Matt was getting hit a lot back there, so not thrilled about that. Uh, again, we couldn't really run the ball that well. Uh, I think we got around 100 rushing yards, but a, sm a lot of that was uh, Matt scrambling, which is bizarre, but he had 31 rushing yards, including a 23-yard run, so... I don't know what to make of that. I don't even remember him running for a 23-yard gain, but apparently it happened, so whatever, right? I mean, that's cool. But, yeah, uh, Julius, a uh, couple times I thought he did well. Most of the day, it just wasn't there for him. I don't think it was an indictment on him. Forsett didn't run the ball well either with much, much fewer carries, but I don't think it was an indictment on him. It just... Well, I, I wasn't... I don't know, I mean... At the end of the day, we did manage close to, you know, four yards carry, but when a lot of that was, you know, Matt scrambling for a 23-yard gain, I, I'm not high on that. So, offensively, we didn't really play well. We made a couple of big plays. Uh, obviously, Dion Butler only really played one play today, but he caught, a, you know, the pass of the game to set up the game-winning winner field goal down the sideline. That was great. Uh, Nate Burleson and Hushman Zada a couple times did move the chains, and you know, I, I like that, man. Hushman Zada never caught a pass longer than nine yards, but he was moving the sticks for us, getting positive yards, and you know, I appreciate it, man. Um, you know, Forsett made his uh, money in the passing game today, caught a touchdown, caught uh, two other passes, so that's great. Uh, really, just a lot of things where nobody really played that well, but we made one or two big plays. Like, Dion Branch had a huge drop that almost cost us this game. He um, also, his only pat catch of the game was a 7-yard touchdown, so I don't know how great you can feel about that, but he caught a touchdown. So, yeah, that's really about it. Not high on the way this offense played. Defensively, we did all right. Um, not a lot of pressure on Alex Smith. I wanted more pressure on Smith. We were getting okay pressure, I guess, but we weren't really getting to him, and that's kind of what we needed. Um, only one sack all day, split between Babineau and Meebane. You know, I give more credit to Meebane for that sack, but it really doesn't matter. <coughs> um, none of the linebackers wowed me, but, um, what we did do is take Frank Gore out of the game. He only had 25 rushing yards. Nine carries, I mean, for some God knows reason, the Niners decided to not use him very much, but I don't care, I'll, I'll take that. So we re limited Frank Gore to under, you know, 70 total yards, passing, I mean, running and receiving, so, you know, he's a guy who <clears throat> has been a big threat against us in the past, so 
However, we managed to keep him out of the game plan. I'm glad we did it because he really wasn't good for much today. I mean, yesterday. And if it wasn't for that, I don't know if we get it done. But um, we did get a couple turnovers. We won the turnover battle. And I'll get to that in one second. But uh, Jor Jordan Babineau was my player of the game. Nine tackles, half a sack, and he forced that fumble on Frank Gore. If, we, if he doesn't force that fumble, I think we lose that game. <clears throat> the Niners were ready to break it open, and he just sticks his hand in there, pokes it out, and we take a and we get three points off of it, which ended up being huge. So, thank you, Jordan Babineau. I thought you were the best player on the field today for us. Really happy with the way he did. Other than that, um, you know, Dion Grant missed pick. Marcus Trufant had a costly pass interference penalty that, you know, maybe it wasn't pass interference, but. Either way, it's still it's still a pass interference call. Um, nothing really sticks out about this game now for the defense other than that. But as a team, I guess we did well. Although Alex Smith had a really good game. Alex Smith, he played well, a little better than I'd like to see Alex Smith play. So, not again, there's not a lot of good I can take away from this in terms of uh, giving props to our individual players. So... I gotta give props to some of the Niners players. I don't think we could have done this without you guys. Uh, where do we start? Frank Gore, thank you. Under 70 total yards from all, uh, from scrimmage and that fumble that pretty much gave the game to us. Thank you, Frank Gore. Um, where else? Vernon Davis, he had the game-winning touchdown right in front of him and he dropped it. He had a good game. I mean, he had 111 receiving yards, played great. But thank you for dropping the game-winning touchdown. Michael Crabtree. Crabtree, thank you for running away from what would have been the game-winning touchdown. Because he had what looked to be a well-thrown ball, <coughs> and as near as I could tell, he ducked like he was terrified of it. I don't know how to explain that one. Uh, Delaney Walker, thank you for dropping a touchdown early in the game that might have kept us in it. I appreciate it, I really do. Uh, Arnez Battle, thank you for that ill-advised, uh, ridiculous fake punt return that you tried to throw back and it led to a fumble that we recovered that set up our touchdown pretty much gave us seven points so thank you Arnez Battle that was probably the worst play of the game and you were the only thing that kept us in that game early on so I appreciate it could not have done it without you guys really I really really think the Niners did everything they could to hand us this game and I thought we were fortunate to come out with it because of that uh, finally, Olindo Mare, thank you for hitting both your chip shots. As we saw in this Redskins game, that's not a gimme. John Ryan, thank you for having a good day punting. And Nate Burleson, thank you for having a good day returning punts. And again, you know what I'll say, a lot of the Niners players played well. Patrick Willis, Alex Smith, um, really I think Josh Morgan as well. But a couple players, you gave it to us and, you know... Seriously, I'm not kidding. Uh, thank you for that. I appreciate it. I really do, because it feels good to beat you guys and end your playoff hopes. That's it. I need to end this now, so see you later.